Walt wanted the audience viewing Fantasia to feel as if they were actually sitting in a grand concert hall, listening to Stokowski conduct the orchestra in that very room. To this end, he labored to have Fantasia become the first theatrically released stereophonic sound film in cinema history. And so when Walt recorded the orchestra for Fantasia, uh, he had almost three dozen different uh, microphones because there was a phonographic uh, close-up of the violin, of the brass. There was one that had to cover the entire orchestra because uh, many theaters wouldn't be able to uh, install Fantasound. talked with a um, Disney historian, uh, John Culhane, who as a child uh, saw a presentation of uh, Fantasia with Fantasound, which was the new system that Disney had created. And he said during the Sorcerer's Apprentice segment, you could hear the water behind you then rushing along the sides of both of the walls of the theater and then crashing at the exact right time on the screen in front of you. Years later, people who developed Dolby Sound and all of this said that yes, they were inspired by Walt's Fantasound using different tracks and different speakers to create that immersive experience.